What's going on everyone? It's DV and today I'm going to be showing you the easiest ways to make diamonds aka gems and pet simulator x. Some of these methods do require robux, some of them do not. You can actually free to play. Before we begin, please do be solid. Hit that like button if you like pet simulator x and subscribe if you're new to the channel. So the first way I'm going to show you requires trading plaza. If you don't have the trading plaza unlocked, then you're going to need to unlock it before you can do anything. Actually, two of these methods require the trading plaza because of course the trading plaza is where you're going to make the most gems the trading plaza has a very broken economy meaning things just don't make sense there okay so we're gonna head out here i'm gonna show you some stuff so we're gonna go over here and claim a booth now it is gonna be a little easier for me to sell stuff because i am a star creator but i'm seeing people selling stuff non-stop in here right see someone just sold something they sold a bonus charm for thirty thousand diamonds but what you're gonna see is a lot of people are selling enchants like look at this midas for five hundred thousand. you do need to know your values if you don't know your values you're gonna get scammed or you're gonna overprice or something in this case overpriced is not such a bad thing for you i mean if you're gonna get five hundred thousand because someone's willing to spend five hundred thousand on a midas touch even though you can find it for like two hundred thousand on the trading discord I mean, all the more to you, right? You can see right here, someone's selling eggs right here. The dragon egg. I'm going to be covering this shortly, but they're selling it for 250,000. They don't really go for 250,000 gems, okay? Like you see them for all kinds of prices. You see them for 60,000, 80,000. Um, I was selling them for 80,000 earlier. You could sell them for 100,000, 150,000, 200,000, maybe 250,000 is a little overpriced as of this video. Prices change every day. So tomorrow it could be 250,000. You can see people are selling their hoverboard skins. You can see people are selling these lightning enchants here yeah there's like lots of stuff you can sell your exclusives so selling here is going to be the easiest way as usual no surprise this is the same way people are making the most you know diamonds and pet sim x now we're gonna come over here we're gonna sell some stuff i'm gonna give you some tips on things that people are usually looking for right because i'm usually looking for these things first thing you want to take a look at is going to be your enchants now if there are high level enchants you're not really caring about say for example you don't really need a whole lot of coins maybe you're not really hatching a lot i mean i have half a million of these platinum bars i mean if eventually we're going to need these but i don't really need them need them okay so i don't really care about those as much speed i don't really care about because i got plenty of speed i've got two blasts um this one's pretty good for taps but if you don't use taps then you don't need any of your tap enchants like look at this one right here relies on taps lightning relies on taps so if you don't use taps blast relies on taps um this tap teamwork relies on taps any of these tap ones you can get a lot of you know gems for if you have them so don't just hold on to them if you don't need them now before you sell these you do need to check values and unfortunately most of the value sites are still working on their value list so here's what i recommend you should head on over to the big games discord server go down to pet sim 99 right here under trading okay so go to trading pet sim 99 you might have to do some access stuff sometimes there's like access like roles and such probably under browse channels if you don't see the right channels what you're gonna want to do is click on the top right where it says search you're gonna say in pet sim 99 you're gonna look for the one that says trading right here so click that and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna type in what you're trying to sell so lightning enchant right we want to see what the price is in here you're gonna see a lot of different um buy and sell okay whenever you see a buying lightning um type listing then you know that that's going to usually be cheaper than what it's worth because they can't find it for what they're really trying to buy it for. Actually, no one's trying to buy the lightning ones right now. That's pretty funny. But most people are selling. So usually when you see selling, it says 100,000 diamonds. That's going to be probably overpriced, all right? So that one says 100,000. You just want to look around to see what other people are selling it for. And you can kind of find like the middle ground. I usually go, you know, a little bit less just because I think usually it's overpriced. The next best thing to do is go to potions and people are always looking for potions to buy. So this one's selling a lucky potion five for 2000 that's actually a really good price let's go and get that that's a really that's a steal also if you get these crystal fragments they are going for a lot whenever you look at these key fragments i've got some here too see i've got a lower key here a lot of people are selling those for quite a bit another thing you could do is you could sell your ninja turtles now the reason why people want those in bulk is they're trying to go for the leaderboard over here so you might not think people want those but they actually do see they're um, everyone's going for top power so they're buying these things up because it's just as easy to buy them um last i checked i think those are going for very little like let's see the price has gone down quite a bit so they're selling theirs for about 90 gems each yeah they dropped quite a bit they were going for 400 each now they're going for very very little so again you can sell all of these you can also sell your hoverboard skins granted i would just keep those if i were you um now some things are worth quite a bit if you get lucky in the game okay you get really lucky and you land on something like fortune or midas or you get any of these fortune is going for like 1.5 million right now find them as low as like 800 000 
thousand if you're really lucky gems or diamonds but that means you're really really lucky okay midas goes for about 200 to 300 thousand um you saw someone was trying to sell theirs right here for 500 thousand so if you get that you're in luck that's a lot of money coming your way now that is the free to play way to go so the best way to grind diamonds and i'm not talking about like going over here and getting your rewards because it's only gonna give you like maybe three or four thousand diamonds which is not a lot okay like this right here is only gonna give you like what 375 you come over to the other chest there's like another diamond there's like a couple more diamond claim areas those are not the best ways there's just some ways to get a little bit of diamonds you're not gonna get much from that okay so this area that we're talking about does require vip pass in order to be able to do this now you don't need to have vip pass this is just one of the best ways to grind for diamonds now you might be thinking like dv i already know yeah there's a bunch of diamonds here no i'm not talking about just going in here and sitting there and afk you do need to do a couple of things all right for that to be optimal so i'm going to tell you what the best setup is for the gem area in here so if you're going to go in here and farm these you don't just run in here and do this okay you need to do a couple of things i spent a long time testing this all right i tested the data i ran tests i ran benchmarks we got the data dude with the combination that i did i was able to make over a hundred thousand gems in less than an hour i think it was like 40 i think it was about 40 minutes and i already had made a hundred thousand gems now a lot of people are only doing about a hundred thousand gems overnight granted i do have some stuff of course yes i have this enchant right here the fortune enchant that is really really great you don't need it okay great but you don't need it you're going to come in pretty close to the stats i'm going to show you shortly here um you do need vip access to go into this diamond mines um if you don't have vip access i'm going to show you the alternative site that does not require a game pass so don't worry if you don't have the game pass no big deal you're going to come in here and the first thing you're going to do you're going to set down a flag for diamonds not fortune i'm going to explain the difference here like this is only an epic flag this is a legendary flag you'd think this would give you more diamonds because if you read these flags right it says place in an area to increase coins by 50 percent and diamonds by two times it basically means you're going to get a whole lot more diamonds you're going to get double the diamonds right over the span of five minutes while that flag is active so you figure you come in here you're going to want to use the fortune flag because you're going to get twice as many diamonds yes but i already ran that test okay I ran the test with the fortune flag versus the diamonds flag. And if you have a really powerful team like I do, you're going to want the diamond flag. And here's why. Watch. As soon as I come in here, I'm going to wipe this completely. Now I have no diamonds. It's like they, they trickle in. See? Look how slow that is. But if you're going to use the diamond flag, you're going to spawn twice as many diamond breakables so these are going to spawn in faster they're going to creep in faster so your guys are moving a lot more they're a lot more active and when i ran this test the diamond flag did 30 percent more than the fortune flag so you don't want to use the fortune flag here you want to use the diamond flag if you have a powerful team again if you have a powerful team if your team isn't this powerful meaning they're not it's taking a while to break these diamonds and you don't see this kind of activity where they're waiting a lot then yeah use the fortune flag because that means you're not really limited on the breakables you're limited on um how often you can break stuff Stuff, and so you're going to want more reward per break, right? That's going to be the trade-off. So it's a little conditional as far as like how to farm best for this area. So if you have a powerful team, do this method. If you don't have a powerful team, use the fortune flag. Now this is costly. So you really want to focus setting up the best enchants flags and potions aren't going to be as good as your enchants because flags and potions are consumables which means you can run out so you don't really want to like over invest in those so like if you see them inside the shop or something don't buy a bunch of those okay what you really want to do is focus on your enchant build what do i mean by that well come over here to your inventory and then you're going to go to the enchants so first of all the fortune is the best diamond book or enchant you can possibly get in the game it gives you 50 percent more diamonds the next one down you want is not that's so much the one i have okay i have four i have a bunch of diamond fours in here you're gonna want diamond fives if you can find them or make them um i haven't been able to do that okay so diamond fives i don't have them yet they are pretty pricey you're looking at probably about two hundred thousand um diamonds for each of those if you're gonna find them um could probably make one pretty soon here i think i just need one more and then i'll be able to make one i think there's seven let's see i think there's seven each um something like that so if you want to try to make your own just go over to the enchanted forest here again this is why you always want to go and buy enchants from the the vending machines or claim your free enchants inside the water under the water um but you go in here and you can see i need seven in order to be able to make my diamond five now don't do that unless you have 
like a whole team of these okay like it's always going to be better whenever you're doing these enchants it's always going to be better just to have more of them because they do stack because if i just um combined all these i would be stuck with using what what's my next diamond level i would be stuck with 25 percent instead so i'd trade all of these just to have one book more powerful and then i would have a bunch of 25 percenters and then maybe 20 percenters it's not worth it if you have like um i would say six more of these then it's worth upgrading one of these okay so make sure you store up at least six more of these then merge these um or upgrade into one and then replace that one and do it over and over and over again or if you could buy them great otherwise just keep upgrading these like you know you come over here and just keep upgrading the diamond ones so i've got enough right here made it two so yeah, these do stack. Um, this is the best build right now. If you don't have fortune, no big deal. It's just 50% more, okay? You can still have these 30 percenters or if you don't have those, these are fine too. Just make sure you're always using your uh, diamond ones when you're grinding diamonds in the area. Now, I don't know if Midas works for this um, because Midas does make stuff turn into gold, which I believe will actually give you even more bonus. So I think running this with Midas, I haven't tested it yet. Let me know in the comments below if someone's tested that with fortune. I think Midas would actually be really, really powerful with this. I I believe it's going to give you even more bonus diamonds if it can make those breakables gold i don't know I, i've never seen that happen but you never know you also want to do a couple other things you can see i've got oranges active here we got a tasty snack for your pets boost diamonds by one percent that's not a lot but hey it's one percent more diamonds right in my case i did about 128,000 gems or diamonds in an hour so if you think about that that's just an extra thousand for me right on top of that this stack so rainbow fruit does all of the fruits in one so you add that that's basically two percent so now you're getting another extra one percent on top of that you might as well be using them because you're probably gonna have as many as i do like look look how many fruits i have 242 of these i've got way too much of this stuff like even these i had like i think i had like 70 of these when i used them um additionally you do want to use a diamond potion if you can um if you have the four then use the four this is 50 percent. i was just using diamonds potion too it just gives you an extra 20 percent. i mean if you think about the percentages here if you're gonna make a hundred thousand per hour 20 percent more of that is pretty good right diamond one is only 10 percent, so just use whatever potions you have if you don't have access to vip the second best place is going to be stage 50. now some people were saying they were getting more diamonds off of stage 50 the dojo but i don't believe it because i ran tests and i made more in the vip zone it's possible that they have a weaker team and so this area is better for them for some reason i'm not really sure you got to remember pets don't do as much damage to diamonds so if you were to look at like my titanic he only does 47 damage to diamonds so you can't really look at it the same way um if your pets are kind of weak inside the vip lounge if it takes a long time for them to break stuff then yeah maybe you're gonna have better luck over here inside the fire dojo you're probably getting a lot more chests over there and such and getting a lot more luck so for those of you with deep pockets maybe you have a job and this is your thing that you like to spend your money on maybe you don't have anything else to spend your money on but this and this is your daily entertainment no judgment here i spent a lot of money too <laughs> i spent a lot of money too but the best way to do this is not going to be through buying diamonds. Okay, don't do this. Don't buy the super diamond pack. Let me tell you, it's terrible. It's a terrible deal. It always has been. What you're going to want to do is go up here, buy dragon eggs. If you only have 400 Robux, fine. That's just one egg, but it's still going to be a lot more. Okay, so for 400 Robux, you can get about, I want to say anywhere between 150,000 diamonds all the way up to maybe 250,000. In contrast, for 450, if you bought the diamonds, it would only be 25,000. Like that's crazy, right? If you bought the 30, 3,200 for 10 eggs, you could probably make about 1.5 million to 2 million plus on diamonds just off those 10 eggs for 3200 so this is really the way to do it and uh i'm going to show you how to do that right now all right so we just bought 10 eggs here what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the marketplace dude now a lot of people are selling these for 250,000 each why because people are starting to get rich in this game and they want the eggs i would say two days ago this was impossible like most people couldn't afford one of these eggs period so we're going to come over here we're going to claim our booth boom we're going to make a listing and we're just going to test the market all right we're going to test it we're going to start with 200 000. So there's our first 200,000. Let's see what happens. See if someone buys that. If you have VIP, you could pretty much hang out over here and annoy people with your Titanic if you have one. <laughs> if your egg is not selling, you can always reduce it, of course. We're going to go and try a couple test prices. All right, so we're going to list our egg for 150,000. This should sell pretty easily. We'll go and put some in here. Not everyone can afford these. So if someone says, oh my gosh, they're so expensive. Usually it's because they can't afford it, okay? So don't worry about it. If people are like, I can't. Or they start asking you and begging you to like lower your price. I mean, that's usually how it goes. Hey, it looks like we sold two of them so far. I was just, sometimes you just kind of have to AFK, you know? You don't have to be like impatient about it. Just 
AFK for a bit and things happen. It's way better to be patient. Looks like we sold another one. So you see this guy's selling his eggs for 250,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to be pretty strategic about this. We're going to set up right behind him and we're going to make our listings 150,000. That way someone sees like, dude, this guy's selling for 100,000 more. This is a steal. 50,000 for the keys. See, we're selling those right now. Just, I literally just listed them too. Look at that. 150,000, 150,000. So we could leave this going for probably like another 30 minutes, just AFK it. And we would sell out all of our eggs here. We only have four left. And look, I have 1.7 million now. That's how fast it is. So this is the fastest way to get diamonds in the game currently, but it is pay to win. You have to essentially buy eggs and you sell those eggs for diamonds. This is how most of the pros in Pets MX did it is they would buy a bunch of eggs. They would sell them for a ton of diamonds. And that's how they would be able to get their Titanics and such. Little trade secret. Okay, trade secret. That same strategy works in Pet Simulator 99 and it's going to work even better pretty soon. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you. Please let me know if you have any other tips to share with the community in the comments below. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video, maybe a part two of this as we learn more about Pet Simulator 99. Till next time, happy grinding. Peace.